we're here with um, I'm here with Steve Zestis from the Reading Little League. Hello. Steve, welcome. Thank you for for attending. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. So let's let's get started with a couple of general questions. Um, um, how can I get my my child involved in Reading Little League? Well, we have we offer year-round activities, and so the best way to contact us would be through our website, which is www.sportsmanager.us.reading.youth.baseball.htm. And then there's a contact button, and you just type in whatever it is you'd like to ask your question, and one of us will get back to you. Very nice. Uh, what kind of questions do people normally ask you? Do you know offhand, like, what, what, what kind it of questions? It really do you ranges the gambit from what, how competitive is the league, what are some of the things that you offer, is it possible to get a porta potty is the question <laughs> we get asked a lot. <laughs> yeah, and no, unfortunately, that one's a little bit more complicated. It's a good, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, do they ask questions about like equipment? Like, what do I need? Does my child need? Do they need a glove? They have to. Uh, uh, pretty much glove, cleats, and we supply everything yeah, else. Nice. Very nice. Uh, what about uniforms? We, we take, take care of that. It's all part of the fee that's paid in. We go. We work through dynamic here in Reading. Very nice. So now, what about number assignments? How does how does some what if have you ever had a parent ask you? I want my son to have or daughter have a. Number 10, number 7, does the numbers ever get involved with Little League? Not really. We sort of get in, we have different levels of competition based on skill, and so sometimes we'll get some feedback on that. Okay. Uh, yeah. But outside of that, you know, we sort of once the kids get on a team and they're there, for the most part, once I hear after the, the couple of weeks after um, announcements are made around teams, everybody sort of has a good time. Good. Has now, is, there, is that like a tryout? The, the yes, there is a, there is a trial okay. process okay. Yeah. for our older three leagues. So the younger ones, not so much so, because that's more of a developmental. Okay. Um, and then there's, you know, there's, um, like I said, we have probably 500 kids involved with us oh, right I'm now. Um, so we sort of separate out. It's a very competitive and fun place for kids nice. uh, and families to be. Uh, so how many teams? Uh, it depends on the level. Okay. So okay. at our top level, we have 10. Okay. Um, for sort of our biggest level, which is our AA level, I think we have 12 to 14. All right, so double A meaning almost like the minor leagues? For the yes, league? okay. yeah. Right. So there's our levels in the spring go. You have majors, triple A, double A, single A, and then we have rookie as well. Interesting. No, is there anything above majors? Is that as high as you? Uh, no, after that you age out and you become Babe Ruth, and that's Babe another Ruth. organization. <laughs> Which we're happy to plug them as well. <laughs> um, are there, there any positions, positions uh, in for Reading Little League for volunteers? Uh, there is a whole board of directors. We're all volunteers. All of our coaches are volunteers. No one within our network is paid. We're a nonprofit organization, so we are actively open and wanting uh, folks to participate. We couldn't exist without you. What about um, umpiring? Umpiring is also... Uh, those are paid. There is a course that um, anybody who's interested is required to go through, okay. and that's part of our affiliation with the league. Okay. Um, and on the website, it lists off who the director of umpiring is. You can contact him or send a message to us, and we, again, we'd be happy to communicate you. You get a lot of, uh, so if someone wants to volunteer, as, as an example, volunteer mm -hmm. for a refereeing league. league. Yeah. Well, the same application? Yeah. That's yeah. You just, like I said, the best way to contact us would be just send us an email, look on the contact link, and we'll get you all the details. Okay. Do you have to know a lot about baseball, too? Yeah. Um, again, we put you through a course. There's some required pieces that you have to know. You do have to know a little bit of the rules, but um, you know, we usually start you at the lowest levels where, you know, we're looking to break everybody in and just make sure I just call some strikes and balls and get it done. And again, we're, you know, we want to make sure everybody has fun. That's now, what do you find is the, uh, the, the best part of being involved with Reading Little League? What, 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 what aspect of the volunteer? I think there's a lot to it. I think one of the more exciting things that we've been involved in since we associated with Little League in 2014 is um, we've partnered with the town and really trying to get lights on our majors field um, so the kids can sort of begin to play under the lights, you know, similar to what the Saturday Night Lights program here in Reading does, where there's been a lot of success with that. It would really be a great opportunity. So hopefully if things go well, you know, maybe by the fall, like I said, we're looking forward to that. And how many fields do you play on? Oh, we play on five. Five, okay. Yeah. Okay. And do you want to rattle those off for me? What, what, what sure. We play, play at both fields at Joshua Eaton. We play at the Barrows field. We play at Hunt. And we play at the tennis court field, which is the field directly behind high school. Okay. That's our major league field and the one we're hoping to get lights and a scoreboard in. Very nice. So. Um, one last, well, a couple more questions. Um, did, did you play, play Little League as a? I did. Okay. In Reading? Yes. Oh, nice. Very yes. Nice. Did you make it up through the ranks from the minor league all the way Yeah, down? yeah, I did. It was nice. Back then it was Reading Youth Baseball, but it was, you know, there's still a lot of, one of the nice parts of being in Reading is there's a large percentage of folks that, like me, go through the school systems and come back because of the school systems and the great community and, you know, all that there is about Reading. That's wonderful. Very nice. 
Um, so if you would give us your contact information, website information. that would Sure, be yeah. Again, our contact information is www.sportsmanager.us slash Reading Youth Baseball HTM. Um, do that, or if you want to just Google Reading Little League, it'll drop you right into that. Um, I'm the president, Steve Zessis. So all my contact information is listed up there. So um, again, appreciate your time. Great, thank you for your time. Again, yeah, I thank it. you to everybody else, uh, all the volunteers and the families out there. Absolutely, thank you. Now I guess we're going to... Stu going to the main studio?